okay, so we have a patient who is in some respiratory distress and you go in, you assess the patient and you find that they are tripoding. Is a patient who is tripoding experiencing restrictive or obstructive disease? And what's the difference between the two? Tripoding, with this position that you see with patients having a lot of accessory muscle use, is usually seen with patients with obstructive lung disease, where patients lean forward and are supporting themselves with their arms to optimize the accessory muscle use and reduce the work of breathing that patients have with profound obstructive disease. Obstructive lung disease, such as COPD or asthma, airflow limitation leads to air trapping and hyperinflation which increases the work of breathing and causes dynamic hyperinflation during exertion. Muscles, especially the pectoralis major and minor, to assist with inspiration and improve chest wall mechanics. In restrictive lung disease, such as interstitial lung disease or chest wall disorders, you'll usually see patients with reduced lung volumes and decreased lung compliance. The main problem with restrictive lung disease is the inability to expand the lungs or get air in. So you're not really going to see tripoding as often in patients with restrictive lung disease. All of this is a lecture excerpt from the Confident Care Academy membership. We also have on the fly reference pages for people who are clinically at the bedside to review pathophysiology and pharmacology in real time.